everybody, this is Kim from K Diamond Paints and this is my first Friday video for Drills and Chills 2020. <laughs> so normally when I do a whip, I do, they're called whip wine and what? So if you're interested, I'll put a link here for you so you can go and see some of my past whip wine and what's. I haven't done one in a little while, but I have fun doing them. So this time though, we're going to call it whip and winner because this week, uh, well, this video, I will announce our first winners for drills and chills. Sounds good, right? So, oh, before we do that though, Let's, well, actually a lot of stuff before we do that. Sorry, of course I'm going to make you wait till the end to find out if you're a winner. But look what came in the mail. Let's put this back up so we don't stick to it. This is another prize, you guys. It came in the mail. I am very excited for you for this one. This is in a fancy box. It is not this big, but it is must be in some nice box here. This is from... KZR Diamond Paints and I'll put up for here here you can find them on Instagram they have an Etsy shop I will link it down below for you but she makes some really fantastic drill pens so I can't wait to show this to you this is going to be for Tuesday okay we'll open this up we'll have an unboxing and we'll see what other prizes are in store for you guys I am so excited you are going to love it so I'm working on, this is a 30 by 40 custom, 35 colors from Hua Can. It was like $8 and change. But as you can see, I have done nothing. We already have some people who have finished their first projects. But do you know what I have been doing? What I have been doing day and night, and as a matter of fact, yesterday I sat down in my computer chair at 7 a.m., and I didn't finish until 10 o'clock last night. The night before was 1 a.m. Inputting all of our chillers for 2020 into the spreadsheet. Can you guess how many, as of, this is Friday, so as 11 a.m. today, how many chillers we have signed up? So I'm not going to tell you till the end. So if you think you want to guess, go ahead, go down right now, put a comment. Tell me how many people you think we have as of 11 a.m. Friday morning, okay? Because I can't wait to see how many people you think. I had no clue. No clue. So that's, I'm not diamond painting at all. I'm, I can tell. I bet I have, I think, three diamond paintings I thought I would get done during this time because I was going to be doing, I never do whips. I thought, well, because I'm going to be doing whips, I'm going to be doing so much more. Oh, no way. This is it right here. This is about all that I'm going to get done until the end of October for this thing. You guys are keeping me hopping. I was just, oh, I mean, it's a lot, a lot of folk. So I thought on Fridays, what I'm going to do is, as well as announce winners, but I'm going to showcase some of our diamond painters, some of our fellow chillers and what they're working on because I've seen everything. I went through absolutely every post there is and I started out making comments and I am really sorry <laughs> because I could quickly see if that's what I was going to do, commenting on every single one that I was never going to get you all signed up. It, they were coming in faster than I, I mean, they were just whizzing by my eyes. It was just like bing, my phone was just bing, bing, bing. I thought, oh no. Okay, I had to pick up the pace. So I'm sorry if I didn't comment on all of them, but they're all amazing. But the first person I wanted to showcase was the very first person to sign up for Drills and Chills. And she was right on it. I think I posted my the start photo and she, I mean, it binged right after I pushed enter. So she was right on top of things. And it, um, Diamond, our girl's best friend, she's working on a blue Cheshire cat. I'll put the image up for you here. Oops, these things are getting away from me. Isn't that cool? I just love it. There's a lot of really great ones out there. Um, 
But yeah, I love, and we do have a couple of Alice too. I love Alice in Wonderland. I love all the images um, that go along with it. Every, the different artists that do different renderings of all the, it's just amazing. So that one was the very first one. So diamonds are a girl's best friend. Diamonds are girl's best friend. Congratulations for being the very first person. You are the first contestant on Drills and Chills 2020. Pretty fantastical. So the second person, this time we're going to go in chronological order. I don't know if I'm always going to do that. I'm trying to mark down who's coming on. But I put them down in order the first time. So speaking of that, I put, I was going to have, um, well, I do have a spreadsheet for you all. And I wanted it to be in chronological order. So that if you got some kind of cachet out of being first or second or whatever, that you could have that. When I realized how many people we were signing up, I thought that is going to be a nasty trick to put out a spreadsheet and make you hunt through to find yourselves. That's, you know, that's the trick and trick or treat. That's what that was going to be. And you know, speaking of trick or treat, who has ever picked trick out of trick or treat? Why do we even bother to say that? Everyone always picks treat. Who would pick treat? Trick over treat. Okay, next up was, ooh, um, I can't read the whole, I, I don't know the whole thing, but it was Tina Marie and she has, I think she called it, it's Monster Girl by Neilden. She was pretty, she's pretty cool. That's a 30 by 40 and it has 29 colors. So that one's going to turn out really nice as well. I like that. And next one, Natalie Rakowski. And she's, she's a super ambitious one. I can't even believe it. She has um, the rainbow, uh, rainbow Cheshire Cat from Treasure Studio Arts. That's uh, Anthony Christo, I think it is, but it's a 70 by 100. 70 by 100. The other one she has here is that, that was from that movie, that face, right? What was it called? Fright? Fright Night? Maybe? I love this face. It is such a scary, scary picture. I love it. Um, but that one is even 60 by 45, and she said she wants to get both done. So, oh, Natalie, good, I wish you good diamond painting luck, my friend. Have at her. That is more than I am willing to do. Well, let's face it, I haven't even done one corner of one square of a 30 by 40. So my chances of getting a 50 by 7, or sorry, what was it? 70 by 100 are, you know, next to nil. So who's next? Oh, um, Night of Neptune. Oh, look at hers. Hers is this is one leggy witch you got there, huh? Nice witch costume this chick has on. I love it. She's a 40 by 62, though. That's um it's from Home Fun. Yeah, and it's a 40 by 60, you guys. I don't think I well, maybe I do have a 40 by 50 coming, which now in hindsight is, is ridiculous because I'm not gonna get a 30 by 40 done. But yeah, 40 by 60. And then um Vixen 1876, she has a 50 by 100. Look at the picture. It's just a mystery. So we're just gonna have to find out as she goes along. But she did have a little bit of a whip posted, so if you can take a look at the whip here. Looks pretty spooky, doesn't it? Looks pretty good for our drills and chills. I think she's got the tr chills down just right. What am I? Can't get just uh, there. We go. So that's looking really good. And then Lady Shark thirty six. This is a Nightmare Before Christmas one. This is a thirty by forty, sixteen colors. But she has two of them. She's gonna get done as well. So maybe that's what I think. A thirty by forty, one a month. That's what I was, that's what my hope was. So I think that's a, I think that's a good plan. That seems reasonable. 
Can you see? Look at me. I'm getting some done. So excited. And who was after Lady Shark? Oh, I think it's, is it Beady Girls? Beady, excuse me, Beady Girl? Bead Girl? Bead Girl 46? And she's doing a haunted house, but look at the lane. I love the lane with all the jack-o'-lanterns. I would love to do that in front of my house. After I saw this, I was thinking, you know that traditional jack-o'-lantern face? Jack-o'-lantern, um, kids to get the candy in? Candy basket? I think that would be cool and put lights all the way down your lane like that. That one is a 30 by 40 in 16 colors. And then Dipolar Diamond. This is a really interesting image. I have never seen this for, before. Do you see this? It's a cradle with, looks like a raven to me on it. It's a small image, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be pixelated. Um, and look at, she has it covered up, but if you look, you can see it looks like it has a lot of colors for this little thing. So I have high hopes that this isn't, this is going to turn out perfectly. Spooky little image. I love it. And the brood mother, she has um, corpse bride. I'm not sure how big this is. It's 29 colors, but um, she has a whip picture too. If you look at the whip picture here, looks beautiful, right? The colors look amazing, but it looks, it looks big. That's what I think. Oh, then we have Jan. Janice has a lot of numbers in hers. Janice. 31990. <laughs> this one, is, I love this image. I actually have seen this one. I was tempted to get this one um, with the moon and the trees. I love the birds in it. I just love this image. Um, looks like it has 30 colors, 30 by 40. I think that's going to turn out great in that size. So yeah, I almost got that one. It was, it's in, sitting in my cart right now. And depending on how it turns out when she finishes it, she's my guinea pig now. I might buy that one. I love it. And then we have Kristen K. Kristen K. Right, Kristen K. Seventy three. She has a cool one. This is Starry Night and um, Nightmare Before Christmas morphed together. I really I like this one, and it's a thirty by forty square, twenty eight colors. And if you look at, she did already post a progress photo. If you look at the progress photo, those squares are looking to fit together nice and snugly, almost like ever moment. Now I'm not the one working on it, but that picture looks perfect. So I can't wait to hear from her and see some more progress photos because that, oh, that would be a nice, an, another option for perfect squares, right? Great. And this is from Pretty Neat Creative. So, which is a wonderful segue for us. Pretty Neat Creative has offered us, for the Drills and Chills, 20% off coupon. So, it's PNC20. This is a one-time use coupon, and it's good from now until 12 p.m. December 1st, 2020. So right, go you can go over there and pick up this image or do I ordered a custom. I love customs. So I ordered a custom from them, but whatever you want, you can go over there and get 20% off PNC 20 from Pretty Neat Creative. So thank you so much from Pretty Neat Creative for supporting our event that we have here. Yay, I know I am so excited about it. So talking about our event, um, I do have the spreadsheet linked below here, but I think it's not going to matter as much um, as I thought. I was going to put everybody into the spreadsheet and then pull numbers for the winners. However, I found this really cool add all the names random picker. And we're going to use that. So you'll see a name come up instead of a number. So before it was that you were going to have to look at the spreadsheet and um, know your number for when it was called. Now it'll just pull up the name. However, I think it is still valuable for you because of the sheer volume of people 
that I'm trying to sign up. And so not only is there so many people, but people are finishing and people are posting from different sites. And um, I mean, it's just so, so much to go through for me that um, I think it's a good thing that we have the sheet. So if you don't see yourself on it now, this sheet was updated 11 a.m. this morning. So this is Friday the 4th, 11 a.m. So now if you've put yourself in there since then, right, you are not on this list. You will be on when I update it. I think I'm going to keep trying to update it daily so that it doesn't get too far ahead of me now that I'm kind of caught up on you guys. And I put it in alphabetical order. That's like I said before, I was going to put it in chronological order, but that would just be nasty for you all to have to hunt through that. So alphabetical order, find yourself, just make sure you're on there and that you're, because you won't be able to see your names when it's called. You'll see what I mean, because we're getting very close to pulling the winners for this week. And then on that spreadsheet next to your name, if you have a finish, it should say in the next column over, finish. Once you have one finish, you're entered for the grand prize. Did you all see the grand prize? I posted that on Instagram. Um, it's in my last video too. From Sam from Painting with Diamonds. I mean, it is, it is awesome what she donated for us, you guys. Everyone should go say a big, huge thank you to Sam. That is such a nice prize. She has beautiful accessory, diamond painting accessories, accessories, wow, in her shop for you to go check out. So now speaking of Instagram, I just want to put up this little thing. A lot of people are new to Instagram and everybody's having maybe some issues. And I, I'm hoping I'm dealing with those for you as you write in. But I think one of the problems people are having is they're posting and they're going over to hashtag Drills and Chills 2020 on Instagram. That's how you sign up for this. And they're not seeing their, um, their photos pop up. So let me show you. I've taken a screenshot. Now, see at the top when you go to hashtag Drills and Chills 2020, you'll see the words. Now, this is working from I'm always on my phone. I never do this from a computer. So on the computer, it doesn't it doesn't have these two options. So now you see it says hopefully somewhere around here top and recent. Now, when you go on to the site, it's on top. And that's what you get from your computer too. Top means the most viewed photos, okay? That's what top is. So you're gonna wanna switch over and push recent. Now look at how the images change. So here from top and then recent, you can see the images changed. Recent is chronological order. So if you go and post something on your page and you want to go over and check and make sure that it's posted there you need to go over there but then you need to hit recent because then you'll see yourself right you know right two or three around there if you go to top that's your you could be buried you just put your image in so you figure you'd be at the bottom of all of that right at the bottom of everything because nobody's viewed it yet so go to recent now on a desktop, or not a desktop, but a laptop, on a computer, it only has top. It doesn't have recent. So if you're on a computer, you're going to have to really search through that to find it, okay? But if you post your picture and it's on your page, you've put hashtag Drills and Chills 2020, all lowercase. It's all lowercase, guys, okay? And you hit that link and you go to the Drills and Chills 2020 page, that means that you've done that link correctly. And don't worry about it. It's in there. Okay. Okay. Does that sound great? I think most people are getting it. However, oh, we did find out one more thing this week. One more piece of bad news. So now if your account is private, your Instagram account is private, you can't post to the public account. And if you're on a desktop, you can't post. Isn't that mean? Well, I find that to be rude. Just rude, rude, rude behavior. So those are your two no's. Okay, before we give out the prize for this week, we have to guess 
How many people have signed up for Drills and Chills 2020? Right, so I hope you put in your guess below because I cannot wait to see what people thought. Did you think 500? You are sadly mistaken. You are so wrong. Did you guess 600? You, my friends, are also wrong. Did you guess 700? <laughs> you're wrong. You're closer, but you're wrong. The real number is... Survey said! Oh. <laughs> yes, 754 people are signed up for Drills and Chills 2020 as of this morning. And I know that's not it because I've been back in there to respond to some comments today and there are more people there already. So I see you, don't worry. I will get to you as soon as I finish editing and putting this video up. I'll be over there trying to catch up, signing people up as fast as I can. It has been overwhelming and I can't say enough thank yous to everybody for joining in and already on day four, making this just such an amazing event. Yay! So I want to thank Sam from Painting with Diamonds for donating our grand prize. We have to thank Jessica from Tiny Worlds of Wonder and Robin from Distracted by Diamonds for creating this event last year. Of course, we have to thank our collaborator, Pretty Neat Creative, for the PNC20 coupon, 20% discount. Everything is going along swimmingly. So now, the prizes. The first one is, um, well, both of the ones that I give out are going to be from my new best friends, GBFKE. GBFKE has been supplying me with some really wonderful diamond paintings, different kinds of diamond painting products like a box and a round diamond painting. If you haven't seen a round diamond painting, I hadn't had, I hadn't before. Um, you can check out my last video and all the links for the diamond paintings that they've sent me are down there. But this one is back, I think, from the very first shipment that they sent me. And she's, um, La Katrina? She's a La Katrina girl? A Day of the Dead girl? I think that's the term for all of those girls. Um, like that, with like the sugar skull look to them. Um, yeah, that's the that's the general. You, st you correct me if I'm wrong, but that's my understanding. That those sugar skull girls um, are La Katrina girls. Ladies. Should I say ladies? So sorry, I don't mean to offend. But right, so I had one of those... And I can see a lot of people have her. I wanted to give that out right away in case you want to do it for October. And if I have to, if the winner's international and I have to ship it, well, I have to ship it right away so they can get that. The drills on this one are beautiful. Oh, the red drills on this are just incredible. So I am so happy to give this away to someone and hopefully they're just going to thoroughly enjoy it. Maybe they'll do it for drills and chills, but maybe they'll just have it in a timely manner for the season, right? So let's see who won the Sugar Skull Chick. So yay, M. Sullivan 0512, you are the first winner for Drills and Chills 2020. If you would like to contact me on Instagram, I can get your address for you and I will send that out to you as soon as I can. But congratulations, you've won. She is so pretty. You are going to love her. All the red drills that come along with her are just beautiful. Just beautiful. So honestly, I was only going to give out one prize for this week, but we hit a number of people. I thought maybe I'll get 200 people. You know, I was thinking, oh, if I could get 300, wouldn't I be excited about that? We're, <laughs> we're at 754 and growing. And um, on my last video, I took a vote. I had two square diamond paintings from GBFKE, and I really wanted someone to try out the other square. And I asked you guys to vote. Which one would you like? And 
hands down, I am so sorry for the other team, but hands down, the winner was the Dandelion. This image is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's just so happy and colorful. I can see why that one, that one won. So I thought, let's give away the Dandelion this week too, because it's just so pretty and... I want to thank everybody for signing up and joining us. So not every week are we going to give away diamond paintings, okay? I have different things, but I'll, I do have a lot of diamond paintings to give away because GBFKE has been sending me a lot of diamond paintings, and I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna share the love with you guys. So, but let's see who we can. Oh, jeez, everything's falling. Who can we find as a winner for the dandelion? I'm so sorry. I'm probably going to butcher your first name. Is it Adethia? Adethia Moon? Adethia Moon, come on down. You are the next winner on Drills and Chills 2020. Yay! So I'm so excited. So you too, if you could please contact me, message me over on um, Instagram. I will get your address from you and get this out to you very quickly. It is beautiful. So now you can see why you don't necessarily need to, if you don't want to check the spreadsheet, you don't have to because I'm going to put you into that ginormous wheel and it's going to spin and choose someone for me. However, I realize that you cannot see on that wheel all of the names. So if you want to check out the spreadsheet and make sure that you are in fact on it, be my guest. It's there for you. Um, if you're not, Go ahead and just message me and I'll check it out and I can add you on. Not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. Okay? So thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for joining in Drills and Chills. And I just can't, you guys, it's so many people. <laughs> I feel like I'm drowning in people. But it is awesome. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for everybody for joining. And I'll see you on Tuesday. Have a great weekend.